Hello friends and everyone, welcome back to Netcode Hub channel. In this video, we're going to look at how we can customize polylines. What are polylines? Polylines are lines that are drawn between two coordinates. In our last video, which is the fifth one, we had a look on how we can calculate a distance between two coordinates. And in that, we were provided a default polyline by Google. And that is what you can see from here. So in this, we're going to customize the service that we have registered here. Because you know that here, default, we have this line constructed. So we want to stop this and then construct our own. I believe you are getting the gist, isn't it? This is the one default going to be constructed for as soon as you provide your start and finish coordinate. Now, instead of constructing this, hey, you want to stop this and I'll do our own. So let's do that. We can modify the direction renderer so we can um, stop this by line and now later on, we're going to add our own. So by doing this, you have now put a stop to the default um, line created or point line created for you when you have to coordinate. We are passing an options here. So we want to suppress point line. We set that onto true. We want to get rid of that. This is a map that we created. And this map is coming from the global variable that we created. I believe you remember this from the starting of the video. Now we have this here. That is all. So now when we run this, what's going to happen? We're going to have the line constructed, but there won't be any line. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you can run this and check it out. But let's go and um, customize it. Let's go and add our own, change the width, change the color, and so forth and more. So let's do that. Now we can have this set in our calculate route. That is where we have our stats and now we have our finish. As you can see from here, when you create our request, we provide these values. Start and now end. So by adding these few lines of code, we are able to customize our polyline. What are we doing? You can see we are using polyline and I believe you can see that attached to our Google map. In here, we need this to provide these parameters to it. Which is the path? The path here, it is a route path. We want to get the, the let's say the polyline between two coordinates. That is a route. So you want to get that. So we have this path specified. And we can get it from this because you can see that here this is a result we can get our route for the first one then here we want to get the overview path so which is going to give us access to only that route path we want to have change the color so the, you see we have a stroke color to this then we need opacity which is actually 1.0 that is to see or to view everything if you want to fade it you can make it like 0 0.5 0 0.7, 0 0.2, you can try that. And then we have our uh, stroke weight, which is how slim you want, it to, uh, you want your line to be. We say two, and then our global variable that we created to handle the entire map system. That is what we have in the specifiers map. And that is all. Now with this customization that we have done, let's go and run this app and check it out. All right, so we have our app ready. 
And I want to check here, I have provided with two coordinates. That is the starting and now the end. So we can have our point line created between two coordinates. And I look, I check it out. You see now, this, the point line here, it is 10. Um, I think this one is deep blue. Is that so? <laughs> and as you can see, when you check the weight compared to the default one, you can see that, hey, this has been customized, right? Yeah, so that is a way to handle that. We've seen how we can customize our pilot line between two coordinates. All right, so I'm going to catch up again with the next informative content on same Google Map integration in Blazor Hybrid. If you enjoyed this video, then do not forget to give me a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. And don't forget to turn on the notification because it gives you an update as soon as I upload new content. All right, so I'm going to catch up again with the next one. Take care and I'll see you again.